Hello everybody, the History Guy here. Happy New Year to all of you out there in YouTube world. Uh, it is a new year. It is time for some new things. I've decided to scrap my Nigeria series and Ultimate, uh, not Ultimate General. Boy, I still got that on the brain. Um, in Hearts of Iron 4, I was playing the Millennium Dawn mod. I probably will revisit that mod at some point, but I've decided to go ahead and do a World War II series. I'm not sure I've done one of these yet, and a while back, I did a poll asking folks uh, to vote on what country they thought I should use if I did a World War II series on Hearts of Iron 4. And the consensus, the overwhelming consensus, seemed to be Brazil. So that's what we're going to do. I am using one mod. I'm using the Black Ice mod, which is a pretty popular mod uh, when playing a World War II version of this game. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. Uh, fear not, I am going to come back to my series and ultimate general civil war very soon playing through the uh uh legendary campaign but uh just trying to do some new things and uh, you should be seeing a lot of videos coming in the next few days from me uh i've got some things i did recently uh visiting some cemeteries that i've still got to up upload i put one of those up yesterday uh try to do one of these videos a day at least i'm going to jump in and out on this uh video rather than just kind of streaming through the whole thing um also going to be doing some live streaming of some uh, gameplay, probably on uh, Ultimate General Civil War, maybe doing some historical battles, we'll see. But for now, let's go ahead and dive in to Brazil. Uh, obviously, the very first thing I really want to worry about here is getting my economy off the ground. So we're going to focus on industrial things for a while here. We do have some free civilian factories which are going to be kind of important to my long-term growth. So we're going to invest in some further civilian factories. Let's go ahead and create a southern command here. We'll kind of put them down here on the border with Uruguay. And then we'll create a northern command up here. I'm just kind of leave them where they are for now. Got a couple generals available to us here. There we go. Okay. So national focus. I don't have anything that's unique to Brazil. Uh, I believe that what I'm going to do is go the fascist route and join the Axis give them an uh, access power over here in the Western Hemisphere. Um, obviously, as soon as I start going after some of these nations in South America, the United States is not going to be happy with me. Uh, I believe they've probably got a guarantee on every one of these countries. Uh, so at some point, they're going to go to war with me. So I want to have the backing of the access powers when, if and when that time comes. We're just going to focus on basic infantry equipment for now. So, uh, for now, though, I'm going to go industrial effort. Eventually, I'll go political effort and focus on nationalism. And we're going to have to do some trading here, obviously, to make up the difference, which for now we'll get from the United States. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to have much of a navy, but we'll build some of these really not-so-good light cruisers for now, which I'm sure is going to mean more trading I have to do. But let's go ahead and sim and see what's happening here. Alright, we need a little bit of oil. Alright, we got to get a couple bit, divisions in basic training. I'm going to put those down here by Uruguay. They're going to queue up more than one, though. All right, so not a lot going to be happening here for a little while. I've only got two uh, threads for research. I will have more eventually once I work my way down this tree. Uh, there's some extra research slots to be had down here, and I definitely want to go after those as quickly as I possibly can um, because most of the major nations of the world are going to have four or even five research slots going at once, so I don't want to fall behind. I do have a good amount of manpower, which is nice. And once I get my political power up to 150, I've got a few minor changes that I can make. 
But we'll kind of jump in and out as situations warrant. All right, so we're going to come up on the end of our first national focus. That's complete. The sim speed's really fast. I forgot how fast it was on the regular World War II mod as compared to the Millennium Dawn mod, which sims so incredibly slow. Um, we're going to just go right down this tree on the uh, construction side for now, just so I can get down to those extra research slots. Otherwise, uh, we still got about two months before we even get basic machine tools going here. Uh, not a lot else that I can do until my political power gets up to speed. Alright, so political power is uh, over 150 now, so I've got my first ability to make a change. Um, I would love to be able to change my export, for uh, export focus and get it down to limited exports, but for now, that's not where we are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our fascist demagogue political advisor so we can start working towards fascism. Now, uh, with the Black Ice mod, you've got this choice to make here. The Brazilian people have a noble history, a history they've been made to forget under the weak and cowardly rule of Estado Novo. They claim to re represent the people, but can be so feeble as can so feeble a state enforce the will of the people. Only by spilling the blood of these traitors can we fulfill our destiny. Sounds like Star Wars. Um, Alright, so... I think we're going to probably want to go with... Popular support for a fascist coup when the time comes. We're also ready to go with our next research slot. Uh, I'm going to go with concentrated industry. I'm not thinking I'm going to have to worry about bombers too much. So we'll concentrate the industry. Um, and we're about to hit our next national focus. So kind of flying right through things here. All right, Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory close to the French border in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles. The local population cheered the German soldiers on while the diplomatic reactions from France and Britain have so far been muted. Bad idea, folks. Uh, it is no more than the Germans walking into their own backyard, a political commentator in Britain observed, worrying. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the history of World War II, basically World War II uh, grew out of a, as a direct result of the aftermath of World War I and the unfinished things and the resentment, especially among the German people, about how that war ended up. Uh, and so, you know, the Treaty of Versailles banned them from having uh, troops in the Rhineland, which was the area that bordered France and the Low Countries. So that was the first step Hitler took in seeing how far he could really push the button uh, with the Western powers and get away with it. And he got away with it, at least for that time being. Uh, so we've got a little while here before anything else happens. So I think we're good for now. All right, construction one is finished, so we're back uh, looking at things here. Uh, this gives us a research gain efficiency. Uh, that's a little bit ahead. I want to just briefly look at some other things here. Research time decrease. That's a good one. 90 days electro electronic mechanical engineering. So all of this, you know, the first couple of years is all about building up your base, your support, your ability to wage war down the road. And as Brazil, obviously, I'm at a disadvantage compared to some of the, the powerful countries of the world. But hopefully, I can just kind of very quietly build up and get myself in a position to make a difference long term. Okay, here comes the Spanish Civil War. Uh, is erupted in Spain. Several generals are seeking to overthrow the current government in Madrid. Have issued a... Uh, I'm not going to try, uh, pronunciamento, uh, pronunciamento, and a large portion of the Spanish armed forces have answered their call to arms. This right-wing nationalist faction has occupied much of Spain, including the overseas territories. All right, let's pause, because there's a lot going on here. So the battle for Spain has begun, and obviously that was a uh, kind of a proxy war uh, that uh, other sides kind of got involved in, sent troops and things like that, similar to um, Vietnam, early parts of the war, where you know you had the communists supporting the North, the democracies supporting the South, or uh, the Korean War. Uh, so what do we have here? Leadership in the Soviet Union. 
Uh, so they've done their purge of the uh, of leadership there in the Soviet Union. We are back to national focus. Uh, we're going to continue going right down this road. We've got infrastructure. We've got unassigned division. we got our first new division in the field. I'm going to go ahead and put them there. And we've also got the ability to further modify the government. Not entirely sure I want to deal with this just yet. Oh, we can go to early mobilization. Excellent. Okay. All right, we've got four days until concentrated industry is done, so I'll stick around here long enough to deal with that. All right. We're not quite to the place where we want to go there yet. Um, so honestly, we may start looking at... Wow, that takes a long time. Eventually, I'll have a dedicated thread of research uh, for land doctrines. Uh, but we're not there yet. So let's just do kind of a basic upgrade to the weapons and equipment for in for infantry just until we get to 1937 and we lose the penalty for some of those other researches that I'm working on. All right, there's electronic mechanical engineering. That's going to give me a little research bonus. Reinforce rate, research time, another 3% going to come off the research time. Definitely want to go that way right there. That's going to take a while. It's 220 days, but I think it's worth it. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look real quick at construction because I, I completed my first civilian factory. I've got 13 of them working on the next one, so that's coming along nicely. Uh, I'll build a couple more of those before I switch to military. Uh, and the reason being that I want to try and have some independence from having to trade. Uh, so building my own you know, synthetic refinery, for example, down the road is something I'm definitely going to want to look at doing. Uh, and then I'll start. I'll switch over to start working on some military factories. Looks like we're just about done with our next phase. We're getting so close here. I've just got one more, and then we're going to start getting these extra research slots, which is going to be really nice to have. And then I can focus on the other side of this tree and work on military factories. Did I not choose? Yeah, I chose it. Okay. So we're into October of 1936. Moving right along. Going to be into 37 here before very long at all. Um, just kind of take a look. Fascism's up to almost 18% popularity. It's going up uh, by about 1% every 10 days. So pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's going to be maybe only another year or so before we're at the place where they're ready to overthrow that government. And we're ready once again to look at some changes that can be made. No, nope, nothing there. National Unity 15% bonus. That eventually will come in handy. It's not something I'm worried about doing right now, though. Um, so this is going to gain me some Army experience and land doctrine research time bonuses. That's actually really nice on both fronts. All right, we're about 24 days away from support weapons. We're getting super close on that, so those are both about three weeks away. Okay, so uh, we're in mid-December. We have just completed a couple more things here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. We're so close to the end of December. We're going to go ahead and start our next industrial research and we are at the place where I can get some extra research slots awesome I'm excited about that that's gonna be really helpful coming uh, along here we're at 21 almost 22 percent now for fascism and we're gonna be into 1937 and we're starting to develop some army experience as well I don't want to do maneuvers with my army to get experience because that costs precious supplies of which I have very few right now as it is I've only got three military factories. 
All right, so there's our first extra research slot. Now we're going to go for this. Uh, we can't get the second one until we have at least 50 factories. Not quite there yet, so uh, let's go ahead and start going down the armament effort side of things. And with that, we also have the ability once again to modify the government. But first things first, I'm going to go for a synthetic oil because I want the ability to uh, become as energy independent as possible. That one's going to take a while, and that's okay. So we're going armament effort now. We're going to start building some military factories. Just to kind of recap here, I've got 14 civilian factories that I'm currently using to produce further civilian factories. All right, the threat of communism... So, oh man, we're getting a 20% boost to the fascists right there. That gets them almost up to 50% of the country now. That's actually pretty uh, pretty nice. They're at 45%. They're pretty much on the verge of taking control of the, uh, at least, they're going to have a uh, majority support. So I don't, I don't know at some point if we're going to have a coup develop here. I'd rather see it be peaceful. I really don't want to have to fight a civil war. But honestly, I don't know what's going to happen here. All right, nothing going at the moment. Uh, you know what? I got a lot of government points. I want to go ahead and spend some of those. So that's going to give me a 10% reduction in division training time, which will be nice, especially since I need all the help I can get when it comes to the military. All right, so another event has triggered here. Fascist assault divisions form. The political and the martial have always been intertwined in fascism. Uh, in parallel with its growing political movement, fascist parties have begun to form paramilitary organizations to protect against both internal and external threats. The internal threats being their political opponents. If you want to learn more about that, just read the, about the rise of Nazism in Germany, for example. Uh, with the brown shirts. Although many people find this development worrying, the wave of militaristic furor has led to an increased amount of volunteers joining our armed forces. All right, so what this gives me is another 5% boost in the popularity of pa uh, fascism. Um, grants the National Spirit Fascist Assault Divisions, with, uh, which actually hurts my national unity, but boosts my recruitable population and increases daily fascism support. So... All of that means that fascism is now at 52% popularity in my country. So we'll see what that means here in just a minute. Um, I'm guessing at some point we become fascist. We're going to go armament effort again. All right, we've got to make some changes here. We've got a steel problem. Okay, so we're actually producing more than enough infantry equipment. I guess at some point I need to look at maybe some different things besides just infantry, or at the very least take a look at how I can improve this. So support artillery is probably the way to go once I have enough army experience. We'll start attaching some artillery units to these divisions. But we're going to go ahead and get another thread of infantry divisions going we'll put them up there because I've got the equipment to make that happen all right oh the German passenger ship Hindenburg was destroyed today while attempting to dock at the Lakehurst Naval Station in the United States oh the humanity there's mechanical computing all right Let's think about the next step here because uh, I honestly think it's probably time to start looking at land doctrine, but maybe I go a little bit of uh, artillery first because I am going to start working on artillery. Oh, you know what? Maybe tanks are the way to go. Um, light tanks and eventually medium tanks. Yeah, let's go ahead and start focusing on some armor here. All right, I would expect something's going to happen with this fascism soon, but nothing at the moment. And, of course, as soon as I stopped recording, this popped up. So let's pause for a second. 
The rapidly growing Brazilian fascist movement has never claimed that they need majority support before they seize power, counting on uniting the nation under their leadership once their rule is established. However, it seems their public support has grown rapidly. Many fascists are now calling uh, Getulio uh, Vargas a hypocrite, claiming to represent the wishes of the people while turning a deaf ear to the masses who want to set Brazil on the path to greatness. The call for a referendum has been dismissed. It's typical attempts at disrupting the system by Estado Novo members so far, but at least it's a political measure. If we do not act now, the fascists may choose the violent struggle for a better path to power. All right, so um, we can kind of go a couple of different... Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh. I was trying to get my mouse to wake up, and I accidentally chose the wrong thing. All right. Well, we'll see what this means moving forward. It's definitely not the way I wanted to go with this because I just knocked down the fascists to 43%. All right. Well, it's not a problem really because I really am not at the place where I need fascism for at least another year or two. Uh, until the war kind of really gets going. So I've got fascist revolutionaries, which is hurting my national unity at the moment. But we'll make up for that in other ways. So I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Alright, Construction 2. Or, what's over here? Yeah, we'll go Construction 2 for now. And how many factories do I have? All right, fascist sympathies in the military. The national spirit outranks the government. If public support is sufficient, a coup can be executed. All right. Ah, Amelia Earhart has completed a flight around the world. Hey, look at that. She survived. Quite an achievement. She didn't disappear. That's interesting. All right, Italy announces, uh, I can't really read that, claims on Yugoslavian territory. All right, they're upsetting the already fragile balance in the region. Yeah, well, that's going to happen over there. Arm in effort three, here we come. Continuing to build up these factories. I'm going to have to queue up some more here pretty soon. I wonder what infrastructure looks like in my country. Not real great at the moment. So maybe we... Focus on that a little bit in some of these low infrastructure areas. Because those are pretty quick things to put into place. I've now got enough army experience that I can start working on some artillery. Alright, what is happening here? Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished inconclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge located just southwest of Beijing. So a lot of things going down in the world. And I'm getting a lot of divisions in the field. And uh, my manpower is actually going up. So that's kind of nice. All right, let's go ahead and add a uh, support artillery to my infantry divisions. Which, of course, now I'm going to have to produce. All right, here we go. Some will say they saw it coming. Both those who warned against the dangers of fascism. And those who extolled it as the savior of Brazil have found their prophecies made reality today as the military in Rio de Janeiro overthrew the Estado Novo-led government and seized power. Uh, Getúlio Vargas is missing, rumored to have gone into exile, and the coup has been met with little initial resistance. All right, so we're going to have a reign of terror for the next two years, it looks like. Public elections will not be held. All right, so... Uh, Main, a largely peaceful transition to fascist power. Uh, I say peaceful in that I didn't have to fight a civil war to make it happen. All right, we got to start producing some artillery. And obviously that means a change in what's happening with trade. Because we need some tungsten. All right. Let's see what that 
puts me at. Everything's good to go here now as far as trade goes. Modify government, we can go again. Um, we can go from early to partial mobilization. Because I'm fascist. What about trade? Nope. Okay. All right, let's do it. Uh, eventually, the mobilization thing hurts your manpower, but uh, I'm not there yet. So, oh, I got a new flag. Look at that, Integralist Brazil. All right, so uh, we'll go a few more uh, months here. Maybe get to the end of 1937 into 38 and wrap up this episode. All right, so this is interesting. The United States' advocation for democracy is starting to affect our country. Radio broadcasts allowed speeches from Franklin Delano Roosevelt to reach our people, and we have found many Brazilians being attracted to the American way of life. Integralist Brazil is no puppet, nor will we allow our politics to be dictated by the United States. However, we cannot deny the influence that American politics have on our country. So we're ga we've gained the trait U.S. influence, which uh, daily democracy support. That's... Actually, not helpful at all. All right. Go to the next construction effort. Continue to build up these factories. All right, now what? Um, ultimatum. Uh, okay, so Albania. Looks like Italy is looking to attack Albania, which we know is coming. We're going to get our first light tanks here pretty soon. All right, so what do we got to do to justify a war goal against Uruguay? I don't think we want to do that yet. I am not ready to go to war with the United States over a couple of small territories that aren't going to improve my country that much. And, of course, thinking long term as far as going to war, we've got the U.K., the Netherlands, and France who all have colonies here on the northern part, uh, on my northern border. All right. There's light tank. Um, let's get that national unity bonus. All right, so the next thing we've got here is uh, we'll go again with light tanks. And now we need to look at... I don't think I've got um, enough army experience to be able to start. Oh, well, no, we've already got a base armored division, so that's good news. All right. So let's start queuing up a few of those. Put them over here on the Colombian border for now, I guess. And obviously we're going to have to start producing this. Um, let's do this. Slow down on infantry going into the field. And of course we're going to have to start producing tanks. That'll eventually work its way up. We'll produce more than we currently are. Um, all right, a couple other things I got to do here. Let's look at trade for a second. I guess we're good on everything at the moment. All right, synthetic oil experiments are done. I can now produce my own oil, um, which isn't a big deal at the moment, but eventually that will come in handy. Um, all right, we're going to continue just to focus on the industry for a little while longer, but eventually we're going to have to start focusing on the military more, especially as we're about to, about to be in 1938. Of course, the fascist popularity is still only at 45%, but it is going up. All right, the end of the Spanish Civil War. Uh, looks like the Nationalists stand victorious, so that's good. That's a ally of mine, or at least a potential ally of mine. About to gain some more civilian factories. We've got construction, too. Things are moving along nicely here. I think we're going to go ahead and start a land doctrine thread. And the question is, which way do we go? 
I think eventually I'm going to probably focus primarily on armor. So I guess we'll go the route of Mobile Warfare Doctrine. All right. Looking to, con uh, to the conflicts on other continents, Franklin Delano Roosevelt has announced a new foreign policy program intended to keep the peace at home. Any government on the American continent may appeal to the United States for military protection. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. They can now intervene in American wars. Uh, they're enforcing the Monroe Doctrine. All right, that's not good news for me. So I'm going to have to wait as long as humanly possible to get into any wars. I don't have 50 factories yet. All right, so it's time to start looking at political effort, I think. What's that going to gain me? Eventually, some recruitable population bonuses, some popularities for fascism. Probably some things I probably need here. I just want to look over here for just a second. Army effort, what that gets me. Yeah, we'll go that route after we do the focus on political effort. All right, we're almost in the 1938. I feel like I'm in good shape as long as I stay out of wars, as long as humanly possible. I don't think we're at the place where we can... Oh, we can ask to join the German faction. You know what? Not sure if I want to do that quite yet. Not yet. I'm going to stay independent as long as possible. Keep my options open as much as I can. Alright, we've completed political effort. We're going to go collectivist uh, ethos. And then we're going to... That's going to hurt the daily democracy... Uh, support which is actually kind of important right now because democracy is up to seven percent and rising and it's hurting my uh fascism here so obviously anything we can do to kind of stem the rise of democracy in my country is going to be helpful see how we're coming with tanks we're actually in the place we could get the first armored division in the field they just don't have quite the tanks. I only got about a third the number that eventually we're going to need. Let's shrink down what we're making as far as artillery goes and put that into tanks. All right, so we'll take this up to mid-1938 and then wrap things up right there. I think that's a good stopping point for the first episode. About to get improved machine tools. Okay, with that, computing machine will give me another research bonus. That'd be nice. Uh, might be time to start looking at building up the military a little bit more. Not going to worry too much about special forces. Yeah, you know what? I think that's the way we'll go. We're going to get light tank too, so we're immediately going to be upgrading the tanks we just started building. But that's good because I'm not too far into it. I haven't created too many of them yet. And we're getting pretty close. I think once we get to... Uh, I'll just go ahead and kind of let this play out here once we get to the uh, collectivist ethos and create this light tanks too. We'll kind of stop there because I imagine we'll probably be getting into war by the next episode. If not, the certainly the one after that. All right, we've got free civilian factories as well. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and produce a synthetic refinery somewhere. How about right there? And, hmm, decisions, decisions. Do I have any air bases? I'm not going to worry about air power too much right now, I don't think. How about some military factories? Let's queue up a few of those. 
and that should be good for now. All right, we're starting to be able to see what's going on around us a little bit here. And there's a light tank too, which obviously means we need to upgrade our production of light tanks. We're also going to need some more steel, which we will gladly take from the United States while we can. All right, we can go to limited exports now, too. That's actually helpful. So let's do that. Oh, we got a bunch of things happening. We're going to stop right here, I think. Um, we've got the Anschluss of Austria. Uh, so the United States, or, so Germany has um, gobbled up part of Austria for the uh, Greater Reich. United Kingdom pressures nationalist Spain. Uh, we're going to change to limited exports. We've got collectivist ethos. A bunch of things just went down. Uh, here we go. We're going to go nationalism. We're going to gain that fascism support, which is going to help because democracy is up to 10%. So let's take a look just kind of where things stand now after all of that shakes out. I've got 284 political power. I should probably spend some of that at some point. All right, we'll go here. I think that's good for now on that. Um, all right, so we really need to kind of continue to push the armor divisions being produced. We need 254 just to fill out our current orders. All right, I think that's good. That's a good place to stop for the first episode. A lot happening. It is April 20th, 1938. The world is on the verge of war. We are at 42% world tension. Japan's producing most of it at the moment, although Germany just upped that with the Anschluss of Austria. Uh, so a lot going down, but a lot about to go down. You can see Germany starting to grow. Uh, they just took that territory there, gobbled up Austria. Next, they're going to probably go for the Sudetenland uh, around Czechoslovakia. And then it's on to war. So, uh, as always, I welcome your input, your observations, your criticisms, your questions, uh, any and all of those things. And I uh, just want to use the comment section below. That would be great. Check out some of my other videos. I will have some more um, live action stuff coming, you know, as far as the uh, cemeteries I've visited. I've got a, a lot of video I recorded in the fall that I haven't yet uploaded. So, be watching for more of those if you're interested in such things. And uh, we will be back very soon with a update, a channel update with a question of the week. I want to start getting back to that now that we are into the cold of winter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Have a great week, everybody.